Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is a Love Connection for January. So you actually have to have a connection with somebody. They have to know who you are. Um, it has to be mutual. You don't necessarily have to be committed or married or anything like that so we're just going to see what the energy is between you whoever you're thinking about at this time and um if you have an interest in somebody and they have no clue who you are you may want to watch the singles reading i do monthly and maybe that energy will play out there but this has to be a mutual connection of some kind bet between you and another person so let's see what we have here aries so welcome aries Hope everybody's doing well. Happy December. Happy early Christmas. This is for January, but it will be out before Christmas. So happy early Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and happy new year. So let's see what we have for Aries for January. Love connection between you and another person at this time. All right. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we may get a sign, element, planet. Um, sort of like a bonus, but if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Let's see what we get for you, Aries, for January. Oh, I'm feeling this one wanted to pop out. So let's see what we have. Earth. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or they could have it somewhere in their chart, heavily in their chart, if you know their chart at all. But Earth is a very stable um, energy. It's very uh, about growth, expansion, um, like practicality and that kind of energy. So let's see how that plays into your reading. So the first thing I'm going to do if you're new here, Aries, is I'm going to pull a love energy between you and your person at this time, whoever you have, whoever you have in mind, whatever your situation. So let's see what we get here. All the decks are listed below in the description box if you're interested in the decks I'm using. Also, there's a ton of information there. Um, how to reach out for personal readings, social media. I do readings on Instagram. Tons of stuff down there, so please feel free to go check that out. That's too many. So one card for Aries and their person. What is the love connection between... <laughs> giving me clumps. All right, I'm going to take this one. That one was calling my name. So what do we have here? So we have choose your battle. So this is the seven of wands energy. So this is an energy of being um, a little defensive on guard, or it's an energy for standing up and fighting for something and not giving up. So we'll see how that energy plays out. So I don't know if you're um, defensive against one another right now, or if you are defending the connection and connection and standing up for it. We'll see. We'll see how that plays out. So let's see, let's get one. So what I'm gonna do now, Aries, is I'm gonna get um, a card for you. I guess these are your cards. Card for you, card for your person, how you're feeling about the connection and each other. So Aries, I'll put you on this side, your person over here. And if uh, at any time you feel like the roles are reversed or the energies should be switched, any point, any time during the reading, please do that. But for me, for now, I'm calling this you that them but again you know switch where you see fit and only take what resonates so we have here embrace so this is uh the world energy so this is about um you know chapters closing new chapters starting cycles growth expansion so but so that's how you're feeling so your person here has the five of pentacles so this is feeling you know a little bit Abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected kind of energy. Hmm. We're going to clarify with tarot. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have success and growth, though. So this is the um, Eight of Wands. So this is, you know, passionate action, travel, communication. So I do see fiery, passionate communication there. Um, travel. So, I don't know, we'll see. Movement. So, we'll see what's going on here. All right, so let's see what's going on here for Aries. What is going on for Aries for love connection at this time, spirit? Thank you so much. So, why is the world energy here 
for Aries. So I'm feeling this one here and this one here. All right, so <laughs> you have the Page of Wands connected to the uh, world energy, fire energy. So this is, again, communication, good news, messages coming in, um, fiery, passionate communication. And your person has the Nine of Pentacles along with the Five of Pentacles. So this is someone who's, so they may be single, you know, maybe they are stable, grounded on their own. And this is Earth energy. These two cards are Earth, and we did get Earth there. So they very well could be an Earth sign. So I feel like they're single and independent. They're doing well on their own. You could have just left um, a situation, came out of a cycle, and now you're bringing that good news to your person and saying, you know, I'm ready now for us. And in the meantime, they might have also, because that Five of Pentacles energy is also, you know, maybe they left somebody out in the cold and now they're single because the Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. And that's why you have success and growth over here on the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Wands is that fiery, passionate uh, communication together. But we'll see. Let's get more. Let's get more detail. What's going on here? Let's clarify the page of rods. We'll get the lovers in reverse. Yeah. So I feel like <laughs> I feel like they because this you know is about soulmates, but in reverse, this is not a union between two people anymore. So I feel like you possibly left a relationship, the lovers in reverse, and are bringing that good news that I've closed to that your person, I've closed out a cycle, I'm ready for a new cycle with you. And I feel like maybe they've, maybe they've been single for a while, maybe they, you know, left a situation also in the past. It's like they've been waiting for you and maybe also they've been single. And they've been waiting for the news that now you are single and ready for this new cycle. So let's see. Uh, clarify the Nine of Pentacles for. Whoa, falling on the floor. Wow. So now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this very well could be an Earth sign that you're dealing with here. So yeah, this is somebody who is stable and grounded. Um, secure, you know, they can take care of themselves on their own. You know, they really don't need anyone to take care of them. They can do it on their own. So this is a very stable, stable person over here. They may own their own business or be, you know, uh, like a CEO or a vice president, president of a company or, you know, a high ranking boss or something like that. Somebody who makes their money. It's very successful. So let's get the actual situation here. You know, they could have got a settlement from uh, whatever they left behind there. And that's why they're so secure and abundant right now. All right, so let's see. What is the actual situation here, please, for Aries? So that's Seven of Wands energy here with uh, Choose Your Battles. I mean, that could be, again, you both probably been through a battle, like leaving situations of the past and now defending your connection moving forward because the eight of wands is about that success growth communication movement forward so let's get the actual situation so we got the queen of cups so there's definitely love here i feel like you definitely love this person it's water energy it's on your side so um doesn't have to be water it can just be that love emotions and feelings for this person so what else for aries Judgment call here, um, right in the middle. So both of you, you know, <laughs> resurrecting this. The judgment here is about resurrection. You know, soulmates coming back together um, and asking for forgiveness. If, wow, that just went flying. Five of rods. It did fly out kind of like, I don't know, weird. But, um, you know, that's about conflict competition it was sideways it did fly out like that but um so i mean that could be like an issue it's like the like not conflict between the two of you but uh, maybe an obstacle of like conflict people around you putting a two cents in like like they can't believe that you know you maybe separately both came out of something and all of a sudden going right into a new relationship 
I don't feel like it's new. I feel like you've known each other or, you know, you were together before or something like that. And I think people are like, you know, can't believe that, you know, already going into something new in a way. Because I could be conflict, inner conflict, outer conflict, competition. I'm not getting competition. I feel like it's, because it's like going, I feel like it's people just putting their two cents in about this love that you feel for each other. You know, in making a decision here on this connection to move forward. I do feel like there's a lot of love here with the Queen of Cups energy. So let's get a couple more clarifiers for Aries. Aries, a couple more clarifiers for the actual situation. The Hermit. So, might have took some time. Um, maybe a little bit of time, you know, really thinking about things, you know, what, deciding what you need to do, you know, knowing what you need to do. Maybe that, you know, could, that could be past energy, like finding the way and seeing the light, like, okay, this connection, you know, maybe for you in the past is not serving me anymore. So now, you know, I need to take action. All right. Let's get one more. Four of Pentacles. So it's an energy of like holding back from each other, but yet holding on to the connection. I think I feel like you both held on to the connection. I think you felt the connection, even though you weren't together and you held on to that, but yet you had you had to hold back from each other until the time was right. Because the last judgment here, you know, is about making that judgment call. Finally, soulmates being able to come together. Because you got the world here. The judgment comes and then the world comes with the new cycle. So I definitely feel like energies of holding back with the hermit and the four of pentacles. I feel like um, you definitely couldn't be together. It's both on your side, like the same energy. So I feel like you had to hold back till the time was right uh, before you could come back together. And I feel like people are just putting their two cents in, like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. I can't believe you're getting involved with somebody new already, blah, 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 blah. You know, so let's get advice for you, um, Aries. So we get the Page of Pentacles. Somebody could pre be proposing here, and I don't necessarily mean marriage. Just be, you know, commitment, leveling up, long term, whether it's you or them. But this is your advice, so let's get one more for Aries. And the sun, wow, happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, energy, enlightenment, uh, happy home and family, um, healing energy. So, yeah, and you see, like, the pentacle and the sun is almost like the same energy here. So your advice is, I feel like if they finally come forward to you or you go forward to them and propose... Um, of, okay, let's start a relationship, let's commit, let's date, whatever. Let's get this connection going, let's get it rolling. I think uh, it's gonna bring you so much happiness and joy with the sun energy, because we got 19, 20, and 21. Wow, the only thing we don't have here is the fool. So, yeah, so I do see um, whoever makes this offer coming forward, I feel it's gonna be long-term. This could be a forever person. Um, long-term person, so much happiness and joy. All right, so let's get two more to clarify your advice. So I think if they come forward to you, you should probably accept. If you're thinking about approaching them, maybe you should. But the page, you know, Pentacles is that slow, practical, uh, smart um, approach. So take things slow, I'm kind of feeling. But stable energy with the Pentacle energy. Let's get two more for your advice. Seven of Rods. So repeating card here with the Seven of Wands energy. So again, you know, it's standing up and fighting for the connection and not giving up. Standing up. That's what I feel. Like knowing this is my person I want to spend the rest of my life with. So much happiness and joy. Could be soulmate twin flame energy here with the sun. All right, so let's get one more for your advice. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work to nurture this, to grow this for the long term. Again, very slow, practical energy here. Yeah, so I feel like your advice is to work on this with this person, not to give up, to fight for it. 
you finally, you know, approaching them, say, okay, let's do this. Or if they approach you, I think you should go for it. Work on it and don't give up. Stand up for it. Fight for it. I do see long-term happiness, joy, your person here. So let's get your possible outcome here for you, Aries. So what is a possible outcome here for Aries in this love connection at this time? My cards are going bonkers. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the possible outcome here for Aries? The tower. So yeah, shake up, surprise. It could be a surprise to everybody. Maybe a surprise to you, surprise to them. You know, if you approach them, they approach you. It's going to come as like a shock, a surprise. Um, and I'm not getting like anything bad. It also may shock and surprise people around you. Um, this could be just a big realization, aha moment. Yet, Like, okay, this is my person. We're going to do this. And uh, don't care what others think. So it could be just, you know, that tower energy. All right. So I'm not sensing anything bad. But tower doesn't have to be bad. And that is actually your energy with the tower is Aries. So maybe you may be the one to move this along. So let's get a couple. The Knight of Swords. Wow. And as I say that, the Knight of Swords. So this is a fast, very fast paced action here. Taking action very swiftly. Uh, be careful of your energy because the Knight of Swords can be kind of reckless. Um, kind of like a rebel without a cause. So just be Larry. Um, just be careful with the knight in the tower, you know, of the energies, whether it's you or them, that it's not um, anything reckless or that may hurt anybody. Just be careful of that. But I do see, like, this could be happening now because the tower can be, like, now. So, yeah, very, <laughs> moving very, very quickly, like, now. What else for Aries? Oh, we got the Six of Swords in reverse. Hmm. So the Six of Swords in reverse is about, you know, going into a better place, you know, peace, harmony, balance, leaving the BS behind and going to a better place, but it's in reverse. So to me, you know, with this in reverse, it's kind of like a stuck energy. So you may be, you know, feeling stuck, like why isn't this moving along you know, you just want to like it to move like already. That's why you have the Knight of Swords and the Tower. So I think that's what that energy is. I mean, eventually you're going to get there with the Six of Swords. Even though it's in reverse, I think eventually you're going to get there to peace, harmony, balance. And again, it could be that energy of everything and everybody around you, like not agreeing or whatever what you're doing here. And that could be, you know, that Six of Swords in reverse. It's like you're going in that direction to the better place because you got the sun but yet there's with this fiber rods i think a lot of people around you that may not agree and you may have to fight through that with the knight of swords energy you know that's about you know taking action but truth clarity standing up for what you believe in not taking any bs using that sword to cut away things no longer serving you so i feel like you will get to this you know that peaceful place was going to take a while because at the bottom we have a six of swords which is success victory um, epiphanies, aha moments, um, the truth of peace and clarity, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away things no longer serving, standing up for yourself, and telling it like it is. So, and this to me is like divine energy is bringing in this divinely guided new beginning for the two of you, like crowned in victory here, growth, expansion. And the, okay, I said, we don't have the fool and here it is. <laughs> and there's the sun right there. Double confirmation of the sun also leaping in, you know, taking a leap of faith, resetting, starting at zero, new cycle beginning, trusting everything will be fine. Nine of swords is stress, worry, anxiety though about this moving forward, but there's the world repeating again in your energy. So a whole new world, whole new chapter starting, cycles closing out, new cycles starting. And moving forward very quickly with the chariot. And I have felt that energy. Things will start to move along very, very quickly. And it may not um, be in that peaceful, balanced, harmonious place right away. It may take a while before everybody just accepts it. But 
this is moving forward with, you know, success, victory, balance, um, just going for it. <laughs> and the Empress. So, so this is divine feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. But yeah, being in control, being um, in your power, your energy, success, growth, birth of new things with the Empress energy. The Empress energy. And then, we, so the Empress is, um, let's see, the Empress is Libra and Taurus. And then we have Cancer. And this is Earth signs and fixed signs. So, you know, double confirmation of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm not sure of the fixed signs. We have Aquarius with the Fool. And the Lovers over here, we have Gemini, we have Virgo, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, I mean, we have a lot of signs here, so they could be anybody. Wow. All right. So, I'm going to get some extra messages for you, Aries, with this deck. So, I do ask Aries, if you're new here and you like how I read, my style, uh, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do four different readings a month, so uh, don't miss out on that. They're all different. I do a love connection. I do a singles reading, who's coming towards you. I do sort of like a, a general tarot forecast, and I do spirit messages, uh, angel card readings, um, different themed readings every month, so don't miss out on that. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Whatever way you supported me in the channel, whether you've uh, reached out for personal reading, donated, Sent, sent a gift, whatever here. Uh, it's truly, truly appreciated. So I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. So let's get some extra messages here for you, Aries, in this love connection at this time. For you, Aries. Can we have some extra messages here for Aries? Inward revolution. And we have 42, which is six, which is again, six is a very healing, balancing uh, number. So I do feel like here, inward revolution is like. Just realizing, okay, this is my person. This is who I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to work on this. I want this to grow and expand. I'm ready to take this leap of faith, this new chapter, new cycle. Just having that uh, like inner um, realization and epiphany. And it could be the both of you together. I see like chakras lighting up, activating. All right, so, oh, we got two here. So we got create space. 8 and th 38 is 11, which is half of the twin flame number. So creating space for one another in each other's lives, mind, body, and soul. And then we have expansion. So growth, expansion, we have 44. 4 is a very stable, grounded number about stability, basis, foundation. So expansion, uh, expanding with one another, learning, growing uh, together broadening your horizons, doing new things together, like a new way of living and life, a new kind of love, learning about each other. And then we have Ask Your Soul, 16, which is seven. And seven, again, is a repeating number from over there. Sevens, to me, are a very divinely guided spiritual number. So I think Ask Your Soul is also like that inner revolution, like what does my soul truly want? Um you know, moving forward in my life. And I feel like it's this person <laughs> and then creating space and expanding your horizons with this person. Wow, Aries. Okay, Aries. Well, that was your love connection reading. So uh, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So good luck to you, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.